and a one and a two and a three and a four. Welcome to another video, peoples. How are we all this afternoon, evening, good night? The wee Truman Show thing there for you. And this video will be the review of Resident Evil 4 HD. I don't think it's called that though, but it is HD, right? Fuck it. We're gonna go with HD because it's the, the umpteenth release of this game. This is the PS4 version. I'm playing, and it, um, yeah, it looks like shit, it looks like uh, a big brown smear, followed by a grey smear, followed by a green grey brown smear. Now this game is incredibly popular amongst the Resident Evil community, and it goes far as back as the GameCube days, this was a GameCube exclusive for a number of months. Then uh, Capcom decided it wasn't making any money, then put it in the PS2, then I was surprised that the PS2 could even run such a title, and it did look a little bit inferior, but who cares. Then it got a Wii port, then it got an Xbox 360 port, followed by a shitty PC HD port, then that port got updated and redone and re-released, then it got uh, uh, Xbox One and PS4 port, and it's on the Switch, so it's kind of like, this is Capcom's version of Skyrim. Stop releasing it now, eh, Capcom? I fully expect to see this on the PS5 and Xbox Series X at some point. Or there'll be an update for them, like, maybe a free update? Free update? No. I didn't think so. That'll be a tenner at least, just for some extra HD textures, but there's also the rumour floating about that it's getting a remake, which I'm actually quite happy with. It's not aged that badly, go play it. Go play it now, it looks like fucking crap. And it fucking controls like shite and all. Fucking Leon Kennedy turns like Robocop. Dead or alive, you're coming with me, punk. I wish it was Robocop, at least it'd be a lot cooler than that floppy haired prick. Not been the biggest fan of Resident Evil 4, even since its release back in the day. Always felt like this was a Resident Evil game in name only and not content. There's no zombies, there's no umbrella, and there's only fucking Leon. Leon S. Kennedy, he's a favourite, fair enough. Don't care too much about him. But I was like, well, where's Chris? And Jill was in Resident Evil 3, but other than that, it's like, why are these people being sidelined for this floppy haired prick? No, even, no, even Claire, no, even. I mean, is Ada's in it? Ada's in Resident Evil 4. Wow, Ada, Ada Wong, I thought she was dead. She, she's no dead. She's, no, even though she should be, but she's not. Okay? Ah ha ha. So, then you, you, so you fight these people that have got some sort of parasite in their brain and it's controlling them, the lost Palaga parasite, and I'm like, this is great. What's this got to do with Resident Evil? This is why I'm not thrilled about Resident Evil 8. It's not going to do with werewolves, hallucinations. Fucking satanic cults. This isn't this isn't Resident Evil anymore. This is I don't know what the fuck this is. This is more like Alone in the Dark mixed with fucking that shitey Outlast pish. Don't like those games either. Don't like games where you run away and hide and do nothing else but run away and hide. Back to Resident Evil 4. So I think this game is in need of an update. It doesn't control particularly well in any shape, form of yeah, that. I'm just, I'm quite unsatisfied with it. I played it for a couple of hours and I was just like, <laughs> nah, it's uh, it's needing a bit of refinement. You need to get the, the control scheme from Resident Evil 2 and 3 to remake. Get it looking like those games. I don't think the locales in RE4 are particularly all that interesting. So what have you got? You've got like bogs and you've got like shitey wee rural villages and there's an island in there somewhere and then there's a lake. And it, uh, it's just, it's so blech, it's so bland looking, it really is like in the heyday of the grey brown shooter, just looks like crap. Didn't look crappy so much back in the day, but just now it's not, I don't think it's held up too well. And it's one big, it turns into a giant escort mission when you, you've got the president's daughter. How she ended up in Spain on her own, kidnapped by some weird cult worshipping parasite people, I have no idea. Weird, it's just weird, it's weird to me, don't like it. I always felt this should have been like uh, The Adventures of Leon S. Kennedy, but that, maybe not that title, but it should have been a spin-off, and like, a complete spin-off. This should never have been a mainline Resident Evil title. Even takes the piss at the start and says, oh, he's not a zombie, or like, well, if you're not going to have zombies in your zombie game, call it something else, and have its, have its path diverge, and maybe create a whole new series of games that could have done that, but no, they decided, well, Resident Evil makes money because it's a now a well established brand. So we'll go down that road. I'm not saying Resident Evil 4 is a bad game by today's standards and I am evaluating it by today's standards because I've 
played it back in the past, but I don't remember that much. And I'm talking about the version I played on PS4. Looks like crap, controls like crap, doesn't hold up to the recent remakes and its presentation and mechanics. Those need updated, I'm sorry if that upsets you. Don't buy it. If you're really unhappy with an RE4 remake, don't buy it. I know you're fucking gonna buy it though. And you sit there and moan, it looks like shit, I hate the idea of this. Ooh, it looks shiny, we'll buy it. Got to support the brand no matter what. That's not what you do. That's fanboy, fangirlism, and that's bad. It's bad for everybody concerned. If it's something that you don't believe to be good, don't fucking partake in it. Don't be a prick, don't be like me. Good night, sweetheart, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.